Oh uh, yeah, man. I just um, I seen the end zone, so I lost focus on the on the ball. You know, that's just a concentration thing. Just make sure I, I catch the ball first, then run. I just seen a lot of open space, so I was trying to make a move already. But um, you know, shout out to the coaches and um, Russ to coming back, coming back to me the ne- very next play. And uh, you know, it's always a in this game is always a what now? Next, um, always you gotta always think think about the next play. So. Um, uh, it's a good thing they came back to me and I accomplished our, off the next play. How, how important was it for you guys to finish the way you did? You kept you out there a little longer. I think you ended up being 20 snaps or so. Mm-hmm. How important was that to finish with your playing back? Uh, I just felt like we just needed a, a, a good drive that that ended well with a touchdown. Um, you know, just to give us that good, um, just to feel good about ourselves and just make sure we execute on a high level and finish with a in the end zone. So I felt like that was really big. Oh uh, yeah, you know he did. Um, you know, we probably didn't start off how we want to collectively as a group, but um, you know, we just kept on pushing and kept on trying to execute our plays and um, and you know we finished with a, a touchdown that last drive, so you know that was big for everybody. Jared, just a preseason game, but how much does it mean to you that your coach and your quarterback had the confidence to go back to you and you made that decision? Uh, it means a lot, you know, just uh, knowing the type of player I am and just knowing, like, you know, can't let that get to me and having the confidence just to come back to me the very next play and know that I'm going to deliver for him. So, you know, that's just uh, a lot of respect to my coaches and um, Russ for believing in me to be able to make them plays and um, just give me the opportunity right back after that, after after the drop. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, just having that game environment always good just to just to be in this atmosphere and just to have everybody playing together at a high level. So, you know, it's very important just to have that consistency consistency um playing together in this type of environment. So yeah. Yeah, you know, like you said, you know, you want to get all the struggles away, you know, got to go back to watching film and see all the mistakes that we made and um, fix those little things up so we could just be better off in the future. How was Coach Payton after the game? I mean, it's a preseason game, but it looked like he was, you know, ticked off that you guys lost. But... Yeah, you know, it, it's a preseason game. By the end of the day, it's still football. Nobody liked losing. Um, you know, Coach Coach Payton, a guy that don't like losing this team, there's people that don't like losing. So, you know, everybody just – don't like losing, so it's never a good good feeling to lose. So you know, we just gonna like say correct the mistakes that we did on the field, and just you know, and just move on from there. What was kind of his message to the team after that? Oh, uh, you know, just collectively, um, just going over the stuff that we need to fix and stuff like that. You know, um, you know, he, he haven't seen the film yet. You know, just what he's seen. You know, we did we could do a lot more better. You know, finishing strong. You know, and stuff like that. You know, we always um, strive to, to be perfect, but, you know, in life, nothing's perfect. So, um, you know, right now we just focus on getting better day by day and just make sure we do our job at the highest level and uh, execute it 100% and do what we need to do to be the best team. So, you know, that that, that step just takes day by day to really just get through all that. One more for Jerry. All right, Jerry. All right, thank you all.